up everybody it's your boy cloudy and kayla from cj and kj's life today we are doing the get to know us youtube tag i hope you guys like it well let's jump right into it okay so the first question is what is your name my name is cloudy it's cloudy because i was born on a cloudy day just in case if you're warning your turn, baby. My name is Kayla, and I think my mom named me off of a soap opera. I don't know, some girl named Kayla. <laughs> Next question. What year were you born in? I was born in 1995. And I was born in 1993. So that means I'm 21, going to be 22. And I'm 24. <laughs> and I just turned 24 in June. Amen. Next question. Do you have any pictures of yourself when you were younger? We actually do. All right. This is me when I was younger. No. Come on, you did a little talking, baby. Uh, and this is me when I was younger. Look at this little white cutie. chocolate baby. Look at this little cutie. I was actually a tomboy when I was younger. Mm. That was probably the only girly picture my mom had. <laughs> okay, so the next, the next picture, the next question what is, did you want to be when you were little and why? Well, I wanted to be an NBA player because I felt like I was so good at it. I'm not trying to be cocky, or anything, but I, like my brother played it and my other brother played it, so. I felt like I should, you know, continue the, the family thing. So, yeah. And my goal now is still to be an NBA player. So, my future is high. Very high. What I wanted to be when I was younger was I wanted to be a singer or dancer. And then I wanted to be a veterinarian. And the veterinarian part, I wanted to be for a long time because I just love animals. And But then again, like, I don't know if I could deal with it because we had a cat and he and she got ran over and we had a dog and he, he got, got ran, ran over. over. And it's just, like, hard to see. I had to carry them. I carried them to the hospital in my arms when they were, like, breathing their last breath. So it's, like, just hard to see and I don't know if I could do that anymore. I want to pursue a career. I'm a medical assistant. I want to pursue a career in in neonatal nurse, but it's probably going to be the same thing because it's hard to see babies that are suffering yep. and stuff like that. But then there is good times. Yeah, that can be tough. So I'm still indecisive on what I really want to do. But yeah. Okay, so the next question is, what's your favorite movie and why? My favorite movie is Fat Albert. Yeah, Fat Albert. I know y'all probably laughing. Fat Albert was like, I think it still is. I think it's like the best movie ever because it's. I just. I feel like it's the movie. Like you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, well, yeah. Hey hey hey! It's Fat Albert. Dum, 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 dum. Okay. Next question. I mean, your turn, baby. Oh, my turn. Um, uh, my favorite movie is. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to say it used to be The Hangover. Now I guess Pitch Perfect, because I don't. I just like I like hearing people sing, and um, yeah. You now. Question is, how tall are you? Me, I am six feet tall. I wish I was taller, but no, I'm six feet. And I'm five eight. I thought I was five nine, but I'm five eight. Right. He likes to think he's so much taller than me. I am. I'm six feet. You know how tall that is? I'm eleven. I'm six. Next question. Uh, next question is, where are you from? I'm from Huntington Beach, California. Basically. Amen. Me, I am from Inglewood, California. Inglewood. Inglewood. <laughs> We're so funny. Uh, but uh, I don't really know the hospital over there. Oh, it's Valley Hospital. Yeah. And my daughter, too. Okay. Huh? 
You're gonna get over it that fast? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Next question. <laughs> Would you rather have a superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? I would rather be invisible because I'm a really shy person and like when I get embarrassed I'd rather just disappear than stay there. So I know. Like, Oh my gosh <laughs> No, I would just disappear. I know, huh? And then slap you around a couple times and then walk away. Ooh, you almost knocked this camera over. Me, I would I would say probably read minds because I want to know what people think of me and what people say about me. What, like, I want to know if people's going to rob a bank, kill me, or... Because if you're robbing a bank, I might just help you out a little bit. No, I'm just playing. But, um... Yeah, I, I, I'll say read people minds. <laughs> I'll read... I'll say read people minds. Like, the... We just started watching this show called True Blood. Oh, yeah, True Blood. it's about vampires, and the girl can read minds. Yeah, I just think that's kind of cool, but I wouldn't want to think like see somebody who's talking bad about you. I, I wouldn't want to read their mind because I'd probably want to sock them in the face. I know, huh? They go over there and choke them. Other people mm -hmm. like, why you choke him? He didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. do. I know what the fuck he said. All right. Anyways, mm -hmm. next question: Do you have any tattoos? If so, how many? And what's the meaning? I have four. I have one on my shoulder that represents my daughter. It's a rose with her name. I have one on my arm that represents my grandma from when she passed away. Um, should I read it? No. I have believe on my hand, wrist. It, um, when I was in medical school, I just almost wanted to give up, but I, I got a tattoo just saying to believe in myself that I could do it. And then I got one on my foot. It's uh, two roses and they're like black and grayish. They're really nice. That's like my favorite tattoo, besides my daughter's and my grandma's. Yeah. But believe, I don't know. Tell her what uh, your arm says, man. My arm says, together, forever, never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. And it has granny 1935 to 2015. That is nice. Mm -hmm. That is real nice. It's like, it still looks really dark and nice. And nice. I love it. Me? I don't get really comments on it. Um, oh, yeah, but uh, me, um, I only have one tattoo. Sally, I'm gonna eventually get more, but um, I have one tattoo on my chest peck, right above my heart, and it's a, you probably can't see it. <laughs> I'm like, all right, um, but uh, it's a cross with a ribbon around it, and the reason why I got that is because I feel, I feel like God should always come first, Sorry, I have a list. I can see it through the mirror. All right. Anyways, okay. yeah. Anyways, I can I can feel that God. I feel that uh, God comes first, and He should always come first. So I put them above my heart. Next question is: What are two of your favorite TV shows? Mine is The Fosters and Baby Daddy. Baby, da baby, baby daddy. daddy. <laughs> but they don't have baby daddy no more. They took it off. Cause not a lot of people watching it. I know. That's no, it's pretty cool. Seeing should, a dad raise a child. Yeah, y'all yeah. should watch it. Actually, yeah, y'all should really watch it. Mm -hmm. It's it's really dope and funny, especially the black dude on there, Tucker. He's hilarious. Anyways, me, um, I would say baby daddy and uh and walling out because you know I like to laugh. I'm a happy person. You feel me? So. Yeah, while and now is, is crazy hilarious. So that's my t my two favorite shows, TV shows. All right, next question: What is your favorite holiday? My overall favorite holiday is Christmas, just to be with the family and everything. Amen. It's not the same since my grandma passed away, but um, it's just it's a good time of the year and. But I also like Halloween for some reason because I like going to like haunted houses and scary, doing scary stuff. Like next week we're going to Not Scary Farm. We actually won two tickets to yes. Not Scary Farm. So me and him are going to go because our anniversary we didn't get to do anything. So 
is making up for it. And we we're gonna three we're gonna years. Be, yes, three years. And we're gonna be vlogging to show you guys what's going on there. It's gonna be real and lit. They let us. I know. Huh? Inside, I mean, I'll try and get as much as I can once it gets dark. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard. I know. But I'll try and record in the mazes. Like little clips of everything. Yeah, it's gonna be lit. I I'll see what we can do. Mm -hmm. So make sure you keep your notice notification bells on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe. But anyway, um my favorite holiday is um Christmas because of family and friends and uh hang out with your friends. I know, I don't really hang out with my friends like <laughs> on that. Christmas. I know, huh? But um but mostly family. Yeah, I like to be around family because they're my life and there's nothing more than family. Yep. Next question. Um, biggest fear. My biggest fear is drowning. Yeah, drowning. Go ahead, baby. Oh, mine is the same thing, but mine is tsunami. It's like having like... My biggest fear is having a tsunami. I've seen videos on YouTube where they have, there was tsunamis and what state was that? I don't remember. But that's just like scary to think of just drowning in particular. Cause I'm, yep. I'm scared of the beach because I've been knocked down a couple times and mm -hmm. it just, it's just like scary to die from drowning. Yeah, I mean, what would you do? What is, what is there to do if, Oh no, a, sal a, a tsunami. A tsunami. <laughs> a tsunami. <laughs> I said a tsunami. But a tsunami comes and, like, what is there to do? You can't go in the basement because eventually water's gonna get down there. Drive far away. I, there's Hope nothing really you can't do. <laughs> yeah. Comment down below what would you do if a tsunami came? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I wanna know some of you guys' answers. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. What you guys I, I do, would, so we know what to do yeah, when that ever happens. Exactly. We're gonna do what you guys are doing. I mean, we live in. We're gonna go to your house. Exactly. I mean, we live in Cali. But I don't know if tsunami come tsunamis Huntington come out Beach here. Huntington Beach is straight up the street from us. Oh yeah. But, I mean, it's quite a ways, but yeah, still there. So just just comment down below and let us know what would you guys do if a tsunami came towards you guys. Aliyah. How Jackson. old are you? Nine. What grade are you in? Four. What's your favorite color? My favorite color, blue. Uh, what do you like to do? I like to create stuff and play with my plushies. We got a creator here. Yeah, Ooh. she's always making different things. Yes. And Foxy heads. Yeah. And she loves these toys, yeah. creepy yeah. toys. Uh, that's the end of our oh questions. Oh yeah, that's, that's the end of our questions. Uh, Go ahead and give a big thumbs up. Comment down below, like we said, what you what you would do, any of the questions, um, what you want to see from us, what videos you would love to see from us. Yep. Um, Put on that uh, notification bell. Notification bell. Yeah, because <laughs> because uh, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, posting a lot of videos from now on. Mm -hmm. So be okay. ready. Go but, ahead and subscribe. Tell your mamas, your daddies, your sisters, your brothers, your cousins, your uncles, your aunties, your daddies, your you said daddy already already. said that your dogs, your goldfish, your uh, imaginary friends, uh, your uh, tell everybody you know. Tell your, everybody you know. Your 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 side hoe, your side chick, your son, <laughs> your cat that you picked up from out the street, but uh -huh. you can't let her in the house because your mama won't let you. Uh huh. I tell the po po. Tell the police. Oh, not po po. Uh -uh. <laughs> tell the police. Tell the avalanche. Okay, we done. We done. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. Peace.